Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to block Facebook without using little or no resource on your router. So you need to go to IP, Firewall and we're going to create a layer 7 protocol regex. So we're going to create a new one called Facebook and uh, this is the regex code for for detecting Facebook. Uh, this this code can be found on my website. I will put a link in the description of this video so you can get the code. So we're going to click OK. Next, we're going to go to Mongol, and we're going to create a new Mongol rule. So we're going to use pre-route protocol. TCP, we're going to go around to Advanced, Layer 7, and we're going to make sure you select Facebook. Uh, you can, for if you have a specific client or clients on your network that you want to block, you can have a client list, so like have an address list for clients. These are all the clients on the network. Or you could actually go to general and put in the source IP address for the client that you want to block. Or you can leave it blank and it will block all, all Facebook all face, Facebook for the entire network. So in this tutorial we're just going to do it for the entire network. Click action. And then we're, we're going to select mark connection. And we're going to call this connection... Facebook well, that's so much here. Facebook underscore con I'm going to put a comment on this call it uh, Facebook connection ok uh, pass through we can allow the traffic to pass through if, if we are doing like queuing so if we if we are setting up rules where we might be doing some queuing and all of that in some other rules, we can allow it to pass through. So I'll leave it as pass through for now. Apply, click OK. Next, we're going over to filter rules. We're going to add a new filter rule. And we're going to do this in the pre route in the forward, the forward chain. And we're going to select connection mark Facebook protocol TCP action and we're going to select reject next we're going to choose TCP reset so I've seen a lot of persons using drop. Uh, drop is very inefficient because what it does is that each pocket that is sent to Facebook, it keep on dropping it. And what happens is that the browser automatically retransmit that pocket. So it keep on dropping the pockets and the browser keep on retransmitting. So that is a very um, inefficient way to block it. So we're going to use a reject action and then we're going to select TCP reset and what TCP reset does is that it send a reset um, pocket back, back to the browser and the browser automatically drop the connection to that URL so click up I'm um, going to put a comment on this and say block Facebook click OK Alright, so we've seen some traffic on this. I'm going to do a test now. So I'm going to go to So when just went to Facebook. Let us let us do a search. So we're in Bing and we're going to do a search for Facebook. Alright, we're going to open one of these links 
and this is what happened so it keep it will just keep on giving you this and it will do it quickly so I'll try to put the login page just like that so that is the quick and efficient way to block Facebook there are other methods but this I found where this is the most efficient and easiest way to block uh, a website uh, this this technique can be used for other sites so you can modify the rule a bit for for the sites uh, so hope you had learned something from this video and if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and also check out the other videos on my channel so thanks for watching